Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Gordon. And, and we're, we're the two, two Gay Reapers. Reapers. Hey Reefers, here we are today about to quarantine some fish. We've got our final lot of fish for Reefzilla. Yay! We've got a school of five stocky Antheus. This is obviously just one Antheus. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and TTM these fish. Now, we're just doing this to eliminate the possibility of ick. TTMing doesn't get rid of any other diseases, it's just ick but obviously because we've got tangs in Reefzilla, ick is what we're worried about. So we'll go through and put these into the tub just to acclimate first to our drum of water, and then we'll set up the TTM later with you. Okay, now we've always been complaining about how we acclimate and our acclimation tube. We actually got one from our sponsor, he made one up for us. So it's got a nice clip so we can clip it onto the side of the tank. Nice little valve there instead of knots and some nice clean tube. Yay, thanks Nick. Thanks Nick. Okie dokie, we're not starting the TTM tonight because it's getting rather late and haven't had time to disinfect all the tubs and everything like that. So we're just gonna set them up in this one for tonight. Make sure they're all happy and eating. Um, they've been acclimating for the last hour and a bit. So we'll pour in some nice fresh salt water. How big's this drum? So this is a 60 litre drum. Or tub, sorry. Tub. Tub. So we got two of these from our local hardware store. About 10 bucks each. About 10 bucks each, yeah, nice and cheap. So because they're antheus, they don't need a lot of depths of water to swim around in. So we've just got enough to cover everything here. The PVC is floating. The PVC is floating slightly, well one piece is. Hopefully they'll lay down, but anyway, we've got an air stone in there as well. So now to put the fishies in. Come on, this wants to be caught. Ah! Don't do that. Catch it, don't just... I'm still new with catching fish with my hands, so... Okay, fishy. I have found out Antheus do have spines. <laughs> Oop. One on the floor. Easy to catch on the floor. My hands have holes. Come here, come here. There we go. All done. Now to get all the equipment ready and sanitized to start TTM. TTM, by the way, stands for Tank Transfer Method. Okay, just pouring boiling water over everything to sanitize it all. Now to let it air dry for at least 24 hours if possible. And then we're ready to transfer the fish into this tub. Okay, we're here today to do our first tank transfer of the new fish. So I've let them settle in for a couple of days first, just so they're not so jumpy and skittish and make them feel relaxed with the whole process. So now we'll go through, take them out one by one with one hand into the RO water, 
RO into their new top. So the fresh water dip that we use is RODI water. It is buffered to the correct pH and also brought up to temperature. So not to shock the fish. Okay, now we need to take the old tub out, give it a good clean and disinfect it with boiling water. Okay, this is the second time. Uh, we may be getting a new fish today, so it may be the first time, <laughs> but let's get into it and change these fish over. There's one cardinal rule of tank transfer method is if you go longer than 72 hours between, between tank transfers, or you get a new fish and introduce that, or anything like that, you need to start from day one. So if we get a new fish today, we're going to start all over and do four tank transfers within the 12 days. So those two are the most important factors you need to do at least four tank transfers to make sure that the ick doesn't follow you into the tank. And also minimum of 12 days in this process. 10 seconds in the RO dip helps the parasites actually fall off the fish. done. That wasn't traumatic at all. <laughs> we did end up getting a new fish today. We ended up getting a cleaner wrasse. We've been looking for a nice healthy cleaner wrasse for quite some time. Finally found one. Really excited for him to join in the process and join our other fish in the tank. As you can see here, there is a little bit of cross-contamination, which I didn't notice until I actually watched this video back. But those splashes there, you want to try and avoid those because it will carry ick. Only three more transfers to go. So unfortunately we lost one of the biggest antheas in the actual tank transfer process. It is a stressful process on the fish so you have to take that into account when you're actually planning on it. But it does stop the ick and obviously with the tanks we have in the tank that's what we were mainly concerned with. We went through and TTM'd all the fish including the cleaner ass another four times disinfecting everything in between. 24 hour drying time, total of 12 days later, they're ready to put in the tank. Yes! Who's coming first? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? 
Where'd you come from? That's super cute. So we got the fish in the tank, everything was doing well, and then we noticed the next day the medium sized one had a bit of scarring on one side, it was really bad. We hadn't seen any aggression at all from the other Antheus or the other fish, besides the usual like chase for half a second just to get me get them out of their territory. So just having a look at the side of this one fish, we're going, oh, it's getting really bad. We should really take him out. Fully intended on taking him out, we were thinking about putting him in Gordon's tank just to see how he went. And then he disappeared in here. Woke up the next day, looking around the tank, just wasn't there. And then we found him later underneath one of the rocks. And it was just like, oh. That's the risk with Antheus. I knew there's a risk of like them fighting and picking each other off, especially when there was an even number. We were down to four, but now we're down to three. Good thing is there's been no aggression since. It's been about a month that they've been in the tank now. The three of them are quite happy. Lenny's quite happy, the, the cleaner Rass. He comes up and cleans my hands when I put my hand in the tank, which is really cute. But all in all, everything's settling in quite well and quite happy with the amount of fish in the tank at the moment. So what we've shown you today is just the basics of tank transfer. So to really get in depth sort of knowledge about the tank transfer process and how it works and everything like that, I've included some links down below. One is an actual process on how to do it and in depth how it actually breaks the cycle of the ick. Second, I've also included a link to Reef to Reef Forum, and that has a lot of discussion about all the different things that you can do with tank transfer process, um, what medications you can do at the same time, that sort of thing. So check that out. If you have any questions, best to ask them in that uh, forum there because they have knowledge that we obviously don't. We, we're just not that knowledgeable. If you've liked today's video, like, comment and subscribe, like, comment and subscribe, like, comment and subscribe, and as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty, everyone. Bye for now. If you've liked today's video,